Hey guys, this is Haley from OneOwnerOffice.com and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how we built the bunny pens. So the first thing we did was bring in all the walls. We did have some walls left over from their previous pens at the other house, uh, but we did have to build some custom ones since the room is a different size. And then here my dad is just screwing these boards onto the wall because we decided to finish both sides of the wall in these pens, so just so that it looks really nice and finished. So I was really excited that we did that. And then he's just going ahead and stapling the wood onto the wall to finish it off. So if you're wondering what type of wood it is, it's just untreated pine paneling. So then he's just doing the same thing on the front wall here. And then we just finish it off with some trim to make it look nice uh, just on top and on the bottom as well. And this is the finished product and I am super excited. I think it looks really great. We still have a lot of work to do on it, of course. Uh, we need to put the plexiglass all up. We need to add some shelves and some other really cool things. But we ran out of time that weekend to do everything. So this is Sterling and Ebony's pen. The size of Sterling and Ebony's pen is six and a half feet by eight and a half feet. So this is Lulu's pen. It is a lot smaller than Sterling and Ebony's pen simply because she is over 10 years old and she has a lot of arthritis and she isn't able to move around as well as the other bunnies. The size of Lulu's pen is six and a half feet by four feet. So here I am setting up the temporary bunny pens. Uh, obviously this is not how I'm gonna set it up in the future once they're done. Uh, but I'm just putting the supplies that I had currently. So just have some memory foam mats, some fleece, her litter box, a Heidi house, just some simple things like that. But once we completely finish the pens, I've got a lot of fun ideas and what to put inside. So in Sterling and Ebony's side, I did put some puzzle mats in and then this linoleum base just to put their hay and litter box on just to keep it nice and clean. And then I'm just covering it with bed sheets for right now. And um, I do have plans to use a different flooring in the future, but I'm just using what I had at the moment um, and not worrying about what it really looks like at this point. Uh, so then I'm just setting everything up, putting their Ikea doll beds in, and I had a lot of trouble figuring out where to put it. And that's it. These are the finished products of the pens. Um, I'm just giving you kind of a little overview. Obviously it's, fairly plain at this point, but again, we're gonna be finishing the pens in just like a week or so. So I didn't wanna go all out and crazy because I'm gonna have to completely redo it in just a couple weeks. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing setting up the bunny pens. And that's basically it. I'll see you guys very soon on a new video. Bye.